On this episode of Cosmic World with Wondersphere, we delve into the enigmatic and endlessly fascinating Fermi Paradox. Join us as we journey through the cosmos in search of answers to one of the most perplexing questions in astrophysics. Where is everybody? The Fermi Paradox stands at the crossroads of science, philosophy and imagination, challenging our understanding of the universe and our place within it. It's a paradox that has puzzled the greatest minds, suggesting a universe teeming with life, yet confronting us with a deafening silence from the stars. We invite viewers to subscribe to our channel, where we explore the vast array of knowledge and interesting topics that the universe has to offer. From the mysteries of black holes to the fascinating life on Earth, Wondersphere is your gateway to the wonders of the universe. In the year 2145, humanity had reached an apex in its technological advancement. The Earth, now a cradle of a civilization that had its roots deep in the cosmos, was abuzz with theories and hypotheses about extraterrestrial life. Among these, the Fermi Paradox stood as a perplexing enigma, a cosmic riddle that had puzzled minds for centuries. Dr. Ilara Miles, a renowned astrophysicist, stood before a holographic display in her classroom at the University of New Earth, surrounded by her intrigued students. She was about to demystify the concept that had long baffled the scientific community. The Fermi Paradox, she began with a tone of reverence for its profundity, poses a simple yet profound question. Where is everybody? It's a contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and the complete lack of evidence for or contact with such civilizations. She activated the display, bringing to life a model of the Milky Way galaxy, speckled with countless stars. Consider this, she continued, there are about 100 to 400 billion stars in our galaxy alone, and many of these stars are likely to have planets in the habitable zone where conditions could support life as we know it. Statistically, it's almost a certainty that some of these planets host intelligent life. The room dimmed as the holographic galaxy zoomed in on various star systems, highlighting potential habitable zones. Dr. Miles then introduced the Drake Equation, a formula proposed by astronomer Frank Drake in 1961 to estimate the number of active, communicative, extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way. This equation, she explained, considers factors like the rate of star formation, the fraction of those stars with planets, the number of planets that could potentially support life, and the likelihood of life developing intelligence, among others. As the formula unraveled in the air, showing its multiple variables, Dr. Miles pointed out, according to the Drake equation, even with conservative estimates, our galaxy should be teeming with civilizations. Yet here lies the paradox. Despite our advanced technology, capable of detecting signals across space, and despite the numerous missions we've sent probing the farthest corners of space, we have yet to encounter any form of extraterrestrial intelligence. No signals, no communications, nothing that indisputably proves the existence of other intelligent beings. The students looked on, absorbed in thought, as the galaxy model shifted now showing Earth's exploratory missions, the radio signals sent out into the void, and the vast, unresponsive expanse of space. So, we are faced with a dilemma, Dr. Miles concluded. Either our understanding of life in the universe is fundamentally flawed, or there are factors and forces at play that prevent the rise of civilizations, or at least their persistence and ability to communicate across the stars. The Fermi Paradox thus stood as an unanswered question, an open invitation for the students before her, and for humanity as a whole to explore, discover, and perhaps one day unravel the mystery of the silent cosmos. The narrative shifted when a breakthrough occurred. The Deep Space Network, an array of massive radio telescopes, received a mysterious signal originating from the Cygnus constellation. The signal, a series of irregular, non-random pulses, sparked a global frenzy. Dr. Miles and her team were summoned to analyze it. After weeks of intense scrutiny, they concluded that the signal was not only artificial, but distinctly patterned in a way that suggested intelligence. It defied all known natural cosmic phenomena. Humanity stood on the brink of answering the great question posed by the Fermi Paradox. 
The groundbreaking discovery of the signal from Cygnus ignited a flurry of activity and anticipation across Earth. This led to the ambitious and historic launch of the starship Odyssey. Engineered with the pinnacle of human innovation, including the latest hyperdrive technology capable of reaching speeds previously thought impossible, the Odyssey was a marvel of science and engineering. Its mission was monumental, to traverse the vast expanse of space to the source of the signal in the Cygnus constellation, a journey that even with such advanced technology would take several years. Aboard the Odyssey, a diverse and carefully selected crew of the finest minds and bravest souls prepared for what could be humanity's most significant voyage. This crew comprised top scientists specializing in various fields such as astrophysics, astrobiology, and xenolinguistics, along with a team of skilled engineers responsible for maintaining the state-of-the-art systems of the Odyssey. Additionally, a group of diplomats and cultural experts were included, trained for the delicate task of first contact and interstellar diplomacy should it become necessary. Dr. Ilara Miles, leading the scientific team, often found herself lost in thought as she gazed out into the star-studded void from the observation deck. The possibilities that lay before them were as vast as the universe itself. She wondered about the civilization that sent the signal. Were they still out there, waiting to be discovered? Or would the crew of the Odyssey find only relics of a long-lost civilization, whispers of a once great society? The significance of their mission weighed heavily on her mind. This journey had the potential to not only redefine humanity's understanding of its place in the universe, but also to answer some of the most profound questions that had ever been asked. Are we alone in the universe? What paths have other civilizations walked and what can we learn from them? The implications of first contact would be far-reaching, potentially altering the course of human history. As the Odyssey hurtled through space, the crew busied themselves with preparations. Scientists calibrated their instruments, ready to analyze any data they might encounter. Engineers ran diagnostics on the ship's systems, ensuring their readiness for whatever challenges lay ahead. As the Odyssey neared its destination, the crew's excitement and anxiety grew. They were about to embark on a journey into the unknown, standing on the precipice of a new era in human history. The answers they sought lay in the heart of Cygnus, hidden among the stars that had silently watched over Earth for eons. The journey of the Odyssey was more than a mission. It was a voyage of discovery, hope, and the unquenchable human spirit's quest for knowledge. As the Odyssey approached the coordinates of the mysterious signal, the tension and excitement among the crew were palpable. They were on the cusp of a discovery that could change everything humanity knew about the universe and its inhabitants. The ship's advanced sensors and imaging systems were trained on their destination, ready to unveil the secrets of the Cygnus constellation. However, as they drew closer, the scene that unfolded before them was not of a thriving alien metropolis, but of a hauntingly silent expanse. The source of the signal was an ancient automated beacon orbiting a desolate world that showed the scars of cataclysmic events. This planet, once perhaps a cradle of civilization, now lay lifeless and barren, its surface marred by the remnants of massive structures and cities, now nothing but ruins. Dr. Ilara Miles and her team of scientists worked tirelessly to decipher the beacon's message. Using a combination of linguistics, cryptography and advanced computing, they slowly unraveled the complex patterns and structures within the signal. What they discovered was a story not of triumph and progress, but of tragedy and warning. The message was a farewell, a final transmission from a civilization that had fallen victim to its own success. It spoke of a society that had advanced rapidly, reaching technological heights far beyond humanity's current capabilities. But with this progress came a fatal flaw, a disregard for the balance between their technological advancement and the sustainability of their environment. Wars over dwindling resources had scarred their planet, and the unchecked exploitation of natural resources had triggered environmental catastrophes. The civilization that had once thrived on this world had been consumed by the very technologies that had made their advancement possible. 
In their last act, they had programmed the beacon to broadcast their story into the cosmos, serving as both a warning and a plea to any civilization that might one day hear it. The message implored those who found it to learn from their fate. It spoke of the importance of harmony between advancement and sustainability, of the need for a civilization to not only reach for the stars, but also to care for their home. The beacon was a testament to a lost world and a reminder of the perils that lay on the path of progress. The crew of the Odyssey stood in somber reflection as they absorbed the magnitude of their discovery. This was not the first contact they had hoped for, but it was a profound lesson from a distant, extinct civilization. The ruins of this once great society and their final echoing message across the stars served as a poignant reminder of the fragility of civilizations and the critical importance of balancing technological advancement with environmental stewardship. As the Odyssey prepared to return to Earth, its mission complete yet fundamentally altered, Dr. Miles and her team knew that the knowledge they carried back would have a profound impact on humanity. The beacon's message, echoing across time and space, would serve as a guiding light for humanity to forge a path that avoided the pitfalls that had befallen this lost civilization. In the ruins of this alien world, humanity had found a mirror reflecting its own potential future, urging them to tread carefully on their journey through the cosmos. The Odyssey returned to Earth with the somber news. The discovery, while not what was hoped for, provided a profound answer to the Fermi paradox. Dr. Elara Miles, her eyes deep with the wisdom of the stars and the weight of her findings, presented her report to an assembly of the world's greatest minds and leaders. She concluded, with a voice tinged with both wonder and warning, that perhaps the reason for the silence in the universe was a tragic one. Civilizations, upon reaching a certain technological threshold, tended to self-destruct or decline, unable to balance their advancements with the sustainability of their home worlds. This revelation resonated deeply with humanity. It was like staring into a cosmic mirror showing not only the vast potential of human achievement, but also the precipice of destruction that lay just a step beyond. The ruins of the alien civilization served as a stark reminder of what could befall Earth if humanity continued on a path of unchecked progress and disregard for its planetary home. In the halls of governance, in academic circles and on the streets, a conversation sparked like never before. The story of the lost civilization became a catalyst for change. It was no longer about the pursuit of technological advancement for its own sake. It was about ensuring that such advancement served the greater good, preserving the delicate balance of life. A global movement emerged, transcending borders and cultures. It focused on sustainability and peace, with an emphasis on collaborative efforts to address climate change, resource depletion and social inequality. Technology, once seen as an unambiguous path to a utopian future, was now approached with a new level of responsibility and ethical consideration. Educational systems worldwide began to integrate this new perspective, teaching the young not just the mechanics of science and technology, but also the importance of using them wisely. Dr. Miles, through her lectures and public appearances, became an influential voice in this movement. She urged people to see themselves as not just citizens of their nations, but as custodians of Earth, a precious and possibly unique haven of life in the vast, silent universe. This collective shift in mindset brought about tangible changes. Environmental policies were reformed, prioritizing long-term sustainability over short-term gains. International collaborations in space exploration and technology research flourished, driven by a shared understanding of the fragility and value of intelligent life. The final chapter of the Odyssey thus became a turning point in human history. The echo of a long-dead civilization reaching across light years and millennia did not foreshadow humanity's own fate. Instead, it served as a powerful reminder and a guiding light. In the end, the Fermi Paradox was not just about finding others in the universe, it was a mirror showing humanity its potential and its peril. It was a question that, once asked, demanded not just an answer, but action. As Dr. Miles often reflected, in the silence of the cosmos, we found our voice and our purpose.
Our legacy will not be one of silence, but of a civilization that listened, learned, and lived.